Today we will be solving inequalities. And so let's take a look at our inequality signs. Now notice that I'm reading from left to right when I'm talking about these signs. So here I'm on the left, here I'm on the right. So notice that it's open to the left. So I say this could be called is greater than or is more than. And here we have it's open. We're starting on the left, going to the right. So it's open to the right. So we say is less than or is fewer than. And if we have the line underneath it, it means typically greater than or equal to. However, you don't see those for that phrase very often in words and in problems that you'll see. So typically we'll see the words at least or no fewer than. Here again, we're reading from left to right, so it's open to the right here. And so we would say at most or no more than. Less than or equal to is typically not a term that they use. So here we have negative 3x is less than 15. So when we go ahead and solve this, notice what happens here. When I divide both sides by the negative 3. Now, if I'm dividing by a negative, that means that this term's now going to be positive. And so at least it's positive as far as we could tell. The x value, it could be negative if we have a positive value here, which we do. But mainly, this is going to switch signs. And if this switches signs, then the inequality sign is going to switch too. So whenever we divide by a negative, that inequality sign is going to end up switching. And so that's something we should really note down. So whenever we divide by a negative, so you see how it's a negative x term. So we divide or multiply by a negative, by a negative, the inequality sign inequality sign will switch. So, noting that, let's go ahead and try graphing it. So when we graph inequalities, typically I stick 0 in the center and then I put negative 5 on the side it should be on. And I put an open circle on the negative 5 because it doesn't equal negative 5. It's all the values that are greater than, it says, greater than negative 5. So greater than means to the right. Those are the bigger numbers. See, zero is here, so bigger numbers are off to the right. So on this side, we're going to multiply both sides by a negative 2. So just as we had done before, when we multiply or divide by a negative, this sign is going to switch. That forces the inequality sign to switch too. And so from this point, we've got x is now less than or equal to and then we multiply by this negative 2, so it's now negative 4. So that's our solution, so let's go ahead and graph it. So when we graph it, this time we'll put the negative 4 in the center, I'll put 0 off to the side that you would see it. This time it equals, see it's less than or equal to, so we're going to go ahead and put a solid circle on the negative 4, because negative 4 is a solution. But it's all the values that are less than, see x is less than, it points to the x, so I would draw the arrow this way. Now, you can always read these inequalities from right to left if you wanted to. And if I did that, it would be negative 4 is greater than or equal to x. So this signification I've said here for these symbols is only when you read left to right. But if you read right to left, they'd be exactly the opposite. So let's just go over those rules real quick about graphing. If it is one of these two symbols, either less than or greater than, depending on which way we read it, but if I read from left to right, it's going to be, we're going to end up using that open circle because it doesn't equal that value. If we have the other inequality signs with the line underneath, that is a closed circle. Closed circle because it does equal the value that you're on. So we'll use those rules when we're graphing these problems. So we'll solve and graph. And so the first thing I'm going to do here is subtract the 6. I'm just going to isolate the x just as I would with any other equation. So when I do that, here I'm left with a negative 18 is now greater than or equal to 3x. Now notice that I'm reading from left to right. That's why I said greater than or equal to. But if I read from left to or right to left, I would say 3x is less than or equal to negative 18 because it points to the x from the direction I'm, I'm speaking. So I divide by the 3, I end up with this negative 6 is greater than or equal to x. But typically, you're not going to see the answer that way. Typically, you're going to see the answers this way with x on the left, negative 6 on the right. And if you do that, notice that the sign's going to switch again because you need to match. You see how it's negative 6, it's open to the negative 6 here? Well, it would need to be open to the negative 6 if I switched it around. 
And it's easier to graph them when you have x on the left because then you can read it a little bit easier. You would say x is less than or equal to negative 6. Okay, there's negative 6, here's 0. So less than or equal to solid dot, less than means to the left. And a lot of people like to have x on the left because they follow what the, the inequality sign shows. You see, if you have x on the left, you can use the arrow here. It tells you which direction you're going to end up drawing your line. See, it points in this direction. But it only works if x is on the left, not on the right. See, if it's on the right, it would show to go this way, but that's not the way you'd go. Well, let's take a look at our next problem. So again, these are our answers here. And our next one, we're going to go ahead and subtract the 7 from all sides. So when I do that, I'm left with this negative 2t is less than or equal to 14. So I'll go ahead and divide by the negative 2. Now notice I'm dividing by a negative, so what happens? Well, the inequality sign is going to switch because, again, this was less than when it's negative 2 being multiplied by it. But now I've gotten rid of the negative, so that means it's now greater than or equal to. So when you divide or multiply by a negative, the inequality sign switches directions. Well, t's already on the left, so we'll stick the negative 7 here, zeros over here. Well, greater than or equal to, so solid circle on the negative 7 going towards the bigger numbers. That is our answer. Well, looking at our next problem here, we've got to subtract that 160 from both sides. And so when you subtract 160, we're left with this 4f is less than or equal to, and we've got to borrow here. So notice you're borrowing from the 5, changing it to a 4, so this makes 340. And so now we're going to go ahead and divide. Now I know 4 goes into this number because the rule is if 4 goes into the last two digits of a number that's bigger than two digits, it's easier to deal with. With this rule, this is the way you would use it. So if 4 goes into the last two digits, then 4 goes into this number. So I know 4 goes in here. So let's see how many times. Now notice I did not switch the inequality sign because I divided by a positive. So 4 goes into 34. We've got almost 9 times, but only 8, but with 2 left over. And then eight, 4 goes into 20, it goes in there 5 times, so 85. So f is less than or equal to 85. So here's 85, here's 0, way down here. Inequality sign has a line underneath it, so it equals 85. And every value that's less than, less because it points to the f. Next one here, we're going to subtract the 8 from all sides. So I'm left with... This negative 3y is greater than or equal to 21. So from that point, we can go ahead and divide by negative 3. Now notice I'm dividing by negative, so what happens this time? Well, that inequality sign is going to switch, because at first, this negative 3 forced it y to be greater than or equal to, but once I get rid of the negative, now it's less than, because it switched signs. And so now, I've got y is less than or equal to negative 7. So I'm going to go ahead and put the negative 7 in the center. 0 goes off on this side this time. Oh, another equal to, so a solid circle there. They've all been that way so far. And I'm going to draw the line y is less than. Less than means to the left. Well, taking a look at our last one here, we're going to subtract the 10 from all sides. So we end up with adding those two numbers because they're the same sign. So we've got 3a is less than, and this makes negative 21. And so when I go ahead and divide by that negative 3, again, that inequality sign has to switch directions. So when I do that, I'm left with a is now greater than 7. So again, a is on the right side, so I like it on that side, so I'm not going to do anything there. Keep it there. 7 goes here. 0 is on this left-hand side of 7. And this time it's an open circle because it doesn't have the line underneath. a is greater than 7, not equal to so greater than means towards the bigger numbers off in this direction. Well, those are the types of problems that we're going to see on tonight's homework. Good luck.